Eric, it is time. Why don't you do it? It's your house. Your house. Listen to them up there. The party has reached critical mass. In 10 minutes, there will be no more beer opportunities. <laughs> if my dad catches me copping beers, he'll kill me. I'm willing to take that risk. <laughs> don't worry about it. Just remain calm, keep moving, and above all, don't get sucked into my dad's hair. <laughs> What's wrong with your dad's hair? Just don't look at it. <laughs> and Derek, cold, definitely cold. Okay, take two. There's plenty. There's plenty coming. Is everybody good? I know, I know. Vienna sausages are so versatile. <laughs> Hi there, Eric. <laughs> Mr. Pinciotti. So, Eric, how do you like Bob's new hair? Isn't it groovy? It's incredibly groovy, Mrs. Pinciotti. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. It was Midge's idea. It's a perm. <laughs> Eric? Dad. What the hell happened to Bob's hair? It beats me. His head looks like a poodle's ass. <laughs> Boy, just when you think you've seen everything. A poodle's ass walks into your party. Eric, don't use the ass word. You're still in high school. Yes, sir. Okay, pigs in a blanket, hot, hot. Kitty, is that your Toyota in the drive? Red, a Toyota? Yeah, it's mine. I tell you, the last time I was that close to a Japanese machine, it was shooting at me. Well, honey, it is the gas crisis. What can you do? And you know, Bob, those SOBs at the dealership offered me a lousy $400 trade-in on the Vista Cruiser. Eh, what you gonna do? It'll rust in the driveway before I trade it in. Honey, it is rusting in the driveway. Hey, Bob, I'll take the Cruiser off your hands. I don't care if it's a pump sucker. What you got there, Eric? Beer? Which I found it just sitting, you know, around. Well, put them away, son. Why, intend to, sir. Oh, honey, honey, on your way to the basement, could you pop these in the fridge? They're warm. 